hello friends in this video i will explain you how you can perform the experiment of uh, <coughs> jk flip flip jk flip flops and t flip flop okay so as already shown in the beginning uh, the circuit diagram pin diagram and two table of uh, jk flip flops and d flip flop t flip flop sorry t flip flop it is so <coughs> So here you can see in this circuit uh, two AND gates, four NAND gates are used. Okay. So <clears throat> for AND gate, I'm going to use IC7408. That this is uh, AND gate IC. So here I'm inserting this is AND gate IC7408. Okay. And then after another IC NAND gate IC7400. The second IC I'm using <coughs> this. So now here it is 7400. Now <clears throat> we have to make the circuit connection according to according to the circuit diagram. So pin diagram already mentioned there. So yet uh, I will show you. Here you can see in this circuit diagram so how different pins are connected okay <clears throat> so according to this I am going to make connection so before that I have to give a plus 5 volt to pin number 14 of both ICs so this is a plus 5 volt so this plus 5 volt plus 5 volt here it is and ground it is given okay so <clears throat> plus 5 volt I'm taking from here I'm connecting to pin number 14 and then after <clears throat> for the first uh, I see also I have to connect plus 5 volt <clears throat> so this is plus 5 volt I'm connecting to pin number 14 so this is pin number 14 and then ground I have to connect to pin number 7 <clears throat> So for ground, now you see here this is ground, I am connecting to pin number 7 of this IC, first IC and again <coughs> pin ground we have to give to the second IC that is pin, uh, IC 7400 uh, that is NAND gate IC, okay now both <coughs> given, supply given. Now what we have to do next? we have to uh, make circuit diagram according to the circuit so now designing so j and k j given to pin number two of first and gate so now you see this gray wire i'm using to give uh, input okay so the first gray wire i'm using as j so j is connected to pin number two of and gate so this is and gate ic so connecting to pin number two <coughs> and k is connected to pin number four of uh, and gate ic so pin number four uh, this is it this is it uh, this is pin number four okay then after uh, you can see output mean pin number three uh, of this and get connected to pin number three of and get connected to pin number of one and of nand gate so I'm going to make according to that pin number three so this is pin number 3 of AND gate going to connect to pin number 1 of NAND gate so connecting to pin number 1 of NAND gate then after pin number 6 of AND gate pin number 6 of AND gate so this is pin number 6 of AND gate ok connected to pin number 5 of NAND gate so pin number 5 so this is short <coughs> wire so longer wire I have to use so pin number 6 of uh, this uh, AND gate we have to connect to pin number 5 of this 
NAND gate connected then after pin number 2 and 4 connected to clock so for giving clock I'm going to use this uh, this one here it is the clock okay so connecting here clock to pin number 2 of NAND gate <coughs> so this is pin number 2 and uh, one thing you see pin number 2 and 4 are common so so I'm making this to common so pin number this is pin number 2 and pin number 4 are common so made common okay <coughs> after that uh, we have to see outputs so input of uh, uh, clear then after pin number 3 connected to pin number 9 so pin number 3 connected to pin number 9 you can see this is pin number 3 okay this pin number 3 is connected to pin number 9 so pin number 9 is here so connecting to pin number 9 connected then after pin number 6 connected to pin number 6 connected to 13 so this is pin number uh, 6 pin number 6 connected to pin number 13 so pin number 13 here we have so connecting to pin number 13 now you can see pin number 6 connected to pin number 13 okay <clears throat> then after 6, 13, 3, 9. So, 3, 9 connected. Okay. 6, 13 connected. Then after, um, you can see pin number uh, 10 and 11. So, we have to connect 10 number, pin 10 and 11. So, for connecting 10 and 11. So, you can see here. this is pin number 10 8 9 10 and then after just uh, beside that it is 11 so pin number 10 and 11 connected okay and uh, <coughs> after that 10 and 11 connected 8 and 12 we have to connect pin number 8 and 12 so pin number 8 we have to find where it is pin number this is pin number 8 okay pin number 8 and 12 so pin number 12 there it is okay pin number 8 and 12 connected okay <coughs> then you see <coughs> output output uh, taken from pin number 8 okay from pin number 8 that is qt plus 1 that is the first output pin num from pin number 8 so this is pin number 8 from here i can take output this is the first output that is qt plus 1 uh, and a qt plus 1 bar we can take from the other from pin number 11 okay it is uh, you can take also if you don't want then it is no price one. so now qt <coughs> q you are getting here uh, Q T plus 1 bar from pin number 11 so this is 8 9 10 11 so this is 11 so from pin number 11 I am taking the second output okay and uh, <coughs> one more thing you have to see that the pin number of pin number 1 of AND gate is connected to pin number 11 of NAND gate okay so for that uh, we have to use a longer wire pin number 1 pin number 1 of AND gate so this is pin number 1 of AND gate connected to pin number 11 so 8 9 10 11 so here it is pin number 11 so here we have to connect okay connected <coughs> and then pin number 5 of AND gate 
पिन नंबर फाइव ऑफ एंड गेट सो ना यू कैन सी वेर इट इज पिन नंबर फाइव ऑफ एंड गेट सो दिस इज पिन नंबर फाइव सो पिन नंबर फाइव ऑफ दिस एंड गेट इट इज कनेक्टेड टू पिन नंबर एट सो पिन नंबर एट here you can see this is the side of last one it is pin number 8 so there i am connecting so pin number 8 okay so now circuit here it is over okay so here j and k these are two inputs outputs are here the this is uh, q t plus 1 and this is q t plus 1 bar So now we have to verify according to the two table. So I have already seen. Now again we see. If it is possible, then take the screenshot so that it will work as reference. Okay. So this two table I will verify. When uh, I am going to turn on, I turned on this. In the beginning, the present state it is zero. Now you can see this is the output exact. Okay. Q T plus one. This is zero. So when Q T plus one zero, then in that case when zero zero given. then output it should be now inputs are zero zero okay here you can see then output it is going to be zero here whether i so now you can see i'm going to use this to see if that clock is working or not okay so now you can see here clock is working okay so it means it is zero first verified second is zero one so zero one if i press then output it should be zero so now you can see clock is working but output is zero then 1 0 then 1 0 so 1 0 input is given here at the bottom so now when i press this giving clock clock you can see here then output it should be 1 when clock it becoming 1 then when i gave one clock then here uh, output it became 1 okay and uh, again in the fourth case <coughs> when uh, present state 0 so present state 0 we have to bring so how i can bring present state zero so now i brought present state zero so in this case when both one one so when both one one okay both one one then in that case output it should be one so both one one so if i press okay so now you can see when present state so now here it is when uh, present uh, input 11 one, one, uh, in case when the present state it was zero so now it became one okay it is going to be one now after that when uh, input state is, here it is one in the fifth row then <coughs> input 00 zero, zero. so when input 00 zero, zero, then in that case output it should come one okay output it should come one so now here it is output 1 when uh, <coughs> output 1 why because whatever it is the initial state so in initial or present state same it is going to be uh, in the output when both inputs are 0 0 so it was 1 in the beginning so that's why if i press then it will remain as it is when 0 1 then 0 1 then in that case output it should be 0 so if i give clock so now you can see here it became 0 when i gave uh, 1 0 then in that case 1 0 then output it should be 1 so here it should come 1 so now you can see it came 1 means output led is glowing now when our input present state 1 then in that case when both 1 1 jk then here it should come 0 so if i give input 0 1 1 then here it should come 1 sorry not 1 0 so here it should come 0 so if i press giving clock then here it came what uh, zero okay so this is the way i if uh, continuously if i give a uh, clock pulse okay so it is going to toggle i will show you so continuous pulse here it is not possible so if i am going to give continuous pulse then sometime here then it come again here back so that type of clock toggle it will happen i will show you how so i'm going to give a clock pulse from here from here also i can uh, give clock so first of all i'm going to give uh, the clock here i will show you 
ओके इफ आई इंक्रीज सो नाउ हेयर इट इज दिस इज द क्लॉक इफ आई इंक्रीज द फ्रीक्वेंसी so this uh, clock is not uh, working properly so that's why from here it is better okay so i have already explained this uh, jk flip flop and now i am going to explain about t flip flop okay <clears throat> so for t flip flop there is only one chain so j and k you have to join together okay so if you join together j and k then now you can see here so if you join j and k together then it will become uh, t flip flop okay that is the only thing and remaining all things are same and here it is the true table that we have to verify so that's what i'm going to do circuit diagram it is only j and k i'm going to make common so i'm going to use uh, <coughs> i'm removing this and uh, the same this one it was k okay so th this j and k i am going to make common so so this one it, uh, the right this side this one it is k and this is j so i am making this this two commons okay that is it so made common so now it became <coughs> tip flip flop remaining all things are going to remain the same okay now you have to verify the two table so in the beginning when keep present state zero then t zero then output should be also zero so now in the beginning here you can see uh, put present state zero so that's why uh, here input is zero so output it should be also zero so now you can see when i give clock pass then output is not going to change it is going to remain zero when present state uh, zero in the second row then and input i give one so now you can see here here at the bottom here uh, input one so input i gave here one so when i give one so this output it should come one if i give clockwise so now you can see output came one okay and uh, <coughs> when present state one so now you can present state one then input zero so input uh, zero i am giving now you can see here i am giving input zero and then uh, if i give clock pulse then uh, output re should remain one there should no be no change so there it is now clock i give so there it is no change and uh, when both present present state here one so present state one so in case of present state one and input one then output it should become zero so output it should become zero so i am gi giving here input one you can see here so there it should come zero so as i am giving clock pulse so when i give clock pulse mm -hmm. somewhere it became loose connection let me check okay now you can see here <coughs> due to some you know what clock uh, it is fluctuating so that's why it is not sometime it is giving a different so when i press so now you can see here it became uh, zero okay when both present state and input one then in that case output it became zero okay so thank you all so